okay, part two of the eyeshadow collection. Here we go. This is a newer edition. It's something that I'm on the fence about. I don't love it yet, but I'm trying. I'm trying to make myself like this thing because I, it's just so cute. It's the Minnie Mouse from Sephora. I bought this on the sale section, of course. It just went on sale. This is what it looks like. It's awesome. Doesn't it look just so freaking beautiful? The shadows are not that great. They're super, super patchy. And I just, I swear to God, within 30 minutes, you're like, where the heck's my eyeshadow? They're, they're not that good, but I, I'm, I, I'm trying. I'm trying. I don't like when I hate something, so I'm going to try with this thing. But so far, it, only the packaging is a thing that's good about it. Anyway, on to the good stuff. So one thing here that I have as a recent addition that I just was so surprised. Well, actually, was I surprised by it? Nah, because Wet n Wild that does good eyeshadows. This is one palette that looks like this. It doesn't have a name on it. It just looks like this. It just says Studio Eyeshadow Palette. It's awesome. All of these golds and like, they're so beautiful. There's no glitter, like glitter fallout on your cheeks or anything. They go on so nice. I was super happy with this palette. It comes with a little brush that is pretty usable. I'm surprised. Um, I do use it with the eyeshadows and with other eyeshadows. That's a good one. Uh, next, I got the Ciate Olivia Palmero palette. This is just so freaking beautiful. Like, it has this nice, like, like I don't know, bumpy snakeskin kind of feel to it. It looks so fancy, doesn't it? Open it up just like that, and there you go. Um, these shadows are really nice. They're all kind of deep and just beautiful. I really like these. They're nice to blend. The only one that is kind of a meh is this one right there. It has a lot of glitter in it. And the glitter falls all over your cheeks. It gets everywhere. So the rest of the palette's really nice. Packaging is beautiful. Except that one that I kind of think was a miss. But this was awesome. I got this in the sales section on Sephora.com as well. As the Minnie Mouse palette. And I think this is better than that. Uh, next up, this little palette is from Maybelline. Master Contour. There you go. This is in the shade... I don't know, but it looks like this. Highlight is beautiful, blush is awesome, the contour, I don't really know what I'm doing with contour and bronzer, so with this, I have used it before, I'm still working with it, but I think they're all really good products. I think this is an excellent thing that Maybelline came out with. Um, I think it's kind of expensive, it's probably like $13 or something, maybe it's not expensive for three products, I don't know. It's good, I like this one a lot. I always wanted to get another one, but I was like, meh. Uh, next up, I got an Urban Decay Naked Flushed Palette. This was the first thing I bought from Urban Decay. And I was so new to the brand. I swear I thought the brand was called Naked. And when I went to Ulta, I asked, do you carry the brand Naked? And she was like, Urban Decay? And I was like, maybe. So she took me over there, and then, of course, I saw what I wanted. And I bought this exact one. This is the Naked Flush Palette in Native. I bought this exact one because I saw someone talking about it. Um, and how much she loved it so much and I went and bought it and I love it so much I noticed that these have recently went on not recently. They've been on clearance for a long time I don't know if they still are or not um, but the blush is awesome highlight excellent the The thing they put here. I don't know if it's supposed to be bronzer or contour You can use it for whatever you want, you know, I think it's awesome, too I don't really know what I'm doing with those kind of products like I said, so I Use a light hand but can make it work um, moving on. Next up, Too Faced Totally Cute Palette. This is the first eyeshadow palette I've got from Too Faced. This is the only one that I have. It, it's one of their nine pan palettes. It's super awesome. I didn't like it at first. I don't know why. The orange one down here is the only one I think that's kind of a miss in the palette. It's really patchy and it goes on like just patchy. It's not that good. Um... But the green one, the pink one, these ones over here, I use this one almost every day as well on my brow bone. The other ones here are awesome. For the Except for that orange one there, the rest are just super good. I was happy with this palette. Except the packaging, I think like the magnet isn't that strong, so I always like flop it open all the time. Um, anyway, moving on. Uh, a more recent addition is the Urban Decay Shadow Box. This was on the sale section also, so I picked it up. This one is... Excellent, excellent. 
The Urban Decay um, electric palette really put me off from their eyeshadows because I thought that's how they all were, like just chalky and bad and fallout everywhere. So I, I never bought Urban Decay eyeshadows. I do have a few singles that I've got in sets or whatever, but I've never bought a palette or anything because I thought they were going to be bad. Oh, this changed my mind. It's just so pretty. Did you hear what I said? It's so pretty. I mean, the blue, the purple, this like coral color, this one, the green one, the gold one, every single one of them blends like a dream. No fallout. It's, they're so good. This makes me want to try more Urban Decay eyeshadows or palettes anyway. Um, so I didn't like the orange that was in this Too Faced one, but this one in this Milani palette, the um, Everyday Eyes, this one is, um, dang, I'm blinding you, Earthy Elements. This one is so good. This orange here is just, it's awesome. It's so beautiful. It blends so good. It's not patchy. This is like blinding the crap out of you. I know. I'm sorry. Um, this one right here is what I have on my eyes today. It's um, a lot different than I thought it was going to be. It has a lot. It's washing me out a little bit, the light here, but it's really red and a different color than I was expecting, but I'm really happy with this palette. I want to try another one. And it comes with a very usable brush, which I used today. like that a lot. I have four palettes left. Oh, the creme de la creme or the things I think are freaking awesome. Um, a newer addition that I'm absolutely in love with, I'm wearing all of it on my face today. Not that you can tell because I'm washed out here. It's from A Cosmetics, the Je ne sais quoi face palette. All of these products are awesome. It's got a highlight, a powder, a blush, and a all over face color. Every single one of them is excellent. I Oh, I want to use this like twice a day, like through the middle of the day. I'm like, I want to put that palette on again. It's just so good. My first introduction to it cosmetics products besides the brushes makes me want to just try everything from the brand. I was super happy with that. Three more things and then we are done. I have the Bobbi Brown Shimmer Brick palette here. Very beautiful. I've used these as highlight, as blush, and as eyeshadows and... It works awesome for all of those things. I really like this. Really beautiful glow without the glitter and anything. It, ooh, this was a good purchase. I'm glad I bought that. And the last two newest additions here I got from Beautylish. Uh, this is the Charlotte Tilbury Film, bleh, Film Star Bronze and Glow. And look at that. You guys know what this is. It's a highlight, a contour. The contour is like full proof. I don't know what I'm doing, as I've said in this whole video. I don't know what I'm doing with contour and bronzer. This is full proof. It is just so nice. It blends awesome. It You can't overdo it. I have it on today. I don't think I overdid it. It's good. It's so good. I'm, ugh, I waited so long to get that. Last thing here, one of my favorite things I've ever bought is from By Terry. Uh, I also got this on Beautylish, and it's um, Sun Designer palette. This was in my basket forever, and one day I just pulled the trigger, and I bought it, and look at it. Look at it! It's amazing! This side here is um, matte. These are shimmery here. Oh, this is one that I really enjoy putting on every day. I absolutely love this thing. Don't regret that purchase at all. And that's it. Those are my palettes. Um... I wouldn't really call it a collection. It's just stuff I have and uh, thought I'd just share it today. Anyway, that's all I got for you today. I will see you in another video. Bye.